Number 16, notice you have a lot of things. You have a variable, a variable, plus a variable, plus a variable, plus a number, plus a variable, number equals variable, variable, number, number. So before we start moving anything, we're going to get all our variables together, all our numbers together, and then we'll worry about moving. We're going to combine like terms. We got quite a bit here on the left. I got one end plus another's two, three, four, five. I have five ends plus 11 and four together makes how much? 15. Over here, I got two in and a single in, so that's just three in. Positive 10, lose five, that's a gain of five only. So now it becomes a normal problem. Get all variables to one side, get all numbers to the other. So would you rather move three ends or five ends? I'm gonna move the smaller amount. So I'm gonna move three ends. That's how I'm gonna start the problem. That goes away. I get two ends on this side, plus 15 equals the number five. Now, <clears throat> doesn't make sense to move the five over the 15. It makes more sense to move the 15 over to be with the five. So I'm gonna move it by subtracting 15 from both sides. This will get my variable two in by itself on the left. And on the right, I'll get my number by itself. So it's exactly what I wanted. All variables on one side, all numbers on the other. Now, how do we finish it out? How do we get rid of that multiplying by two? Because we want just a single n. We'll divide by two. Divide by two, n is equal to negative five. 17. Well, five, let's just combine like terms. Five, six, seven n's equals 10 plus 14 is 24, plus that four is 28. Well, that was nice and fast. How do I get rid of multiplying by seven? We divide by seven, and we have our answer right away. Love it, n is four. 18, final problem here. We have to do some distribution, a little distributing here, and then we'll have to distribute through the parentheses here. So let's do that. Two times five n, 10 n. Two times that one, two. Minus a two n, minus a two n equals, now let's distribute on this side. 2 times 2 n is 4 n, 2 times 3 is 6, and then we have 14. Now, we need to combine like terms before we start moving anybody. 10 n minus 2 n is 8 n minus another 2 n is 6 n. Take away the number 2 because we still have that 2 right there. 4 n is by itself, and 6 and 14 together is 20. Now, let's get all variables on one side, all numbers on the other. So would you rather move six in or four in? I'm gonna move four in. I'm gonna move the smaller always. Let's see what that gives us. That gives me two in here on the left, minus the number two equals, that goes away, the number 20. So I've gotten all my variables in this case over on the left side of the equal sign. So now let's move this number over to that side. So I'm gonna add two to both sides. I get two in is equal, that goes away. Move to the other side is 22, and now how do you undo multiplying by 2? We divide by 2, and n is equal to 11. That will make this equation appear true if you plug 11 in every spot where there is an n. There we have them all.